Christ was. This is a just on the fly video. I'm making black eyed peas from my lawyer's house today and I just wanted to share with y'all. So the ingredients that you need for this recipe, oregano leaves, Creole seasoning, um, or you can skip this. I just like the flavor of it. Salt, I have sea salt, but salt. Um, you need some black pepper. I like to use Mrs. Dash. So I got some onion and herb, Mrs. Dash. And I also have the garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash. Some smoked paprika. You need some minced garlic or you can chop your own. And you need some uh, bouillon cubes or some beef broth, beef stock. You also need some vegan butter. I have earth balance and a large or medium sized onion. And I'm just gonna throw in some of this adobo seasoning and see how it turns out actually, so. Okay, here I am just roughly chopping my onion. Now you can use more onion this. This is just what I had, so it's what I used. You can use red, yellow, white, whatever you like. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. It's all gonna cook down anyway. So I know some people they like to add peppers, and the only peppers I had were red and yellow, and I just didn't want those in my black eyed peas, so I didn't use them. Um, maybe next time, but I know some people. You know, black folks, they add onion and red pepper, red, green pepper to everything, so. Okay, our water has come to a boil. One thing I forgot to add earlier, cayenne. And just a little bit because we added that Cajun seasoning earlier. You do not want this to be too spicy. All right, so now I'm adding my black peas. I will let y'all help with this. My daughters are right here, they want to help, but Hi. this is hot. Hey y'all. Hey. Say shalom. Shalom. Shalom, y'all. All right. Hold that still. Okay. Let's get those in a little How bit. How did I help this get? No, this is hot. You can't get too close to this. Okay. This pan. The Can whole thing. Can I tell them how old are you? We'll have a video for that. Right now we're making black eyed peas. All right, vegetable broth goes in. We do and the balance. on, depending on how much beans you have, I'm gonna use one or two of these. I don't even know how many of these I'm gonna use yet. We use the whole time. Okay. That was one, and I'll put the rest in. I think two. What do you think, two? Mm. I think one. I think two. I think we need maybe about half of another one. Half. Hold tight. Mom, the timer is telling you what time you have to leave or not. No. I don't have to. <gasps> you just do it. I accidentally used vegan protein broth. I did not know what that was. I bought this before and I did not like it. Well, guess we're trying something new today. Okay. I'll let y'all know how it turns out. So we're gonna use half of this. I guess it's not too bad. I just don't like the way it looks. It's got a funky color to it. It does. It does. It's splashy. But I heard from somebody else that it's actually not bad. That they liked it. I don't know. I don't know. Look at her boiling pot right there. Do not. I just told you that was hot. Don't touch that. Are you listening? <laughs> You're going to burn yourself. All right. So we're going to let this simmer for a little bit. And then I guess we'll come back. Oh, we, no, we forgot it. A bay leaf. A bay leaf. Just hold that camera. No fear. No, not this time. A bay leaf. A bay leaf. Do we have any? Because a boy, cause a, cause a it's boy hot, leaf. It's hot. Not a boy leaf, a bay leaf. The boiler is hot. Bay, bay leaf. The pot is hot. And this is a bay leaf. I want to put it in. No, I just told you no. It's hot. It looks I don't want you to burn yourself. All right, got those in. I guess we shall find out how this turns out later. 
I know I tasted this broth beforehand. That's one thing that I also like since going vegan too. You can taste, you can taste your food before you cook it because there's no raw ingredients. No, nothing but raw plants anyway. <laughs> all right, so all right, we're gonna let this simmer. And I guess we're gonna come back in a few hours and check it out. Okay, so I am back. This has been cooking for about 30 minutes now y'all that vegan protein broth do y'all see that can y'all see that ew it's filmy oh my gosh i have a feeling this is not gonna turn out i don't know maybe i gotta cook down some more or something but y'all ew that protein broth, is that all frothy? I do not like the looks of this, but I guess I'm just gonna let it cook some more and see. I don't know, I don't know. Please comment down below and let me know if you have any experience with this um, protein broth. I don't think I like it. I don't like the looks of it. It's um supposed to be creamy, but it's like, feel me and I don't know it looks clumpy to me maybe it, as the broth thickens up maybe it'll do something different maybe it'll do something different no you don't need to you can smell it in the air but it smells good in here back up Fia it smells good it smells good in here in the, in our house I don't know I'm give it some more time and come and check it again Lord's will Things will get better. An hour now, and it is no longer frothy. Um, no longer has the kind of filmy stuff that was on it before. I brought this back looking normal. Nowhere near done. Well, I mean, not for me anyway. That's too much. It's too liquidy for me. So I want to continue to let this cook down for another couple hours. All right. This. Um liquid this soup it will thicken over time but this is typically the kind of gravy if you will i would like to see when i have my black eyed peas so this like i said is my version my take on black eyed peas and i hope you try this recipe and i hope you enjoy shalom